Winds have been keeping the red tide smell and dead fish off beaches and bringing people back to restaurants and businesses here on the Sun Coast. Good news there. SNN and Samantha Sonner joins us now with that story. Thanks, Grant and Hallie. And yes, those customers are returning to those businesses on the coast, but they are still trying to figure out how to recover from the past few months. Lunch crowds are slowly starting to come back to Sharkies on the Pier. It's getting better, but uh, the last few weeks have been sort of a ghost town for us. When red tide hit Venice at the end of June, their business dropped off drastically. The last few months have been pretty brutal. Um, we took a really hard hit in July, about 60% down, and then in August it was about another 70% down. So it's been a rough stretch. Owner Justin Pachota says the business is now seeking some relief in the form of rent abatement from their landlord, the city of Venice. So there is a clause in the lease that states if we have red tide that lasts for more than 30 days, we get together and we kind of negotiate a rent abatement for that period of time that red tide affected us. Venice Mayor John Hollick says he hasn't seen the lease or spoken to anyone about the abatement, so he doesn't know how he'd vote, but he does know the effect red tide has had on the city. But as soon as the red tide hit, uh, all of a sudden the business drop off was 50% and then 60% in some cases even higher. So the red tide had a tremendous effect in the businesses in Venice. Hollick said the city is willing to do everything it can to help mitigate red tide effects. But we have to also remember that Venice has about a three, three and a half mile long beach. Uh, we, can, we can take all the actions in the world we want to on that section of beach, but it's not going to affect the areas north of us and south of us. And while Sharkies is waiting to meet with the city this week, there is something that will help all their employees, customers. I hope everybody in the media, uh, everybody on social media understands that the beach is great. We had a beautiful Labor Day weekend. It's been over two weeks now of, of absolutely no, uh, you know, respiratory impact from red tide. Now, Sharkies has already paid their rent for July and August, and they're not looking for a refund from the city, but they are looking for a credit toward their future rent payments. So That would certainly help. Absolutely. Yeah, and you know, the city of Venice says they're trying to do everything they can too, but there is only so much that can be done. Although some interesting proposals coming out of the city of Venice, uh, their vice mayor or vice chair actually wants a proposal to limit fertilizer, which would prevent the yeah, runoff. Into which the would ocean. be year round, and not just because we know the county already limits it during the summer and the rainy season. Yeah, so we will see what happens with that. That's coming up in the Venice uh, agenda in the next couple of weeks. Samantha, thanks for that report. All right, thanks Grant and Hallie.